everybody. Today it's a very interesting show because you get two very familiar voices that you hear every day before you commute to work to school. Actually, this is nostalgia for me. <laughs> Let's go. I will not waste any more time. I mean, are we getting started? <laughs> I will not waste any more time. The intro, okay, in, in, the intro song in the radio world is death. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah I, I thought you play music on this podcast, bro. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you at least have some talking on it or something, but it's just twine, a twine, a twine, a twine, a twine. <laughs> Wow, that's a long one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today on the show, I have two of my ex-colleagues that I used to work with on radio. Uh, I used to work for a station, if you don't know, it's called Hits.fm. Apparently, they rebranded. The dot was too expensive. Mm. <laughs> so they got, they, got, they got rid of the dot, you see? So yeah. we have Ian and Arnold from the Hits.fm morning crew. Guys, what's up? Like, welcome to the show, man. Welcome to the show. Thanks, dude. It's Thanks been for a, having us. It's been a long time coming. I think we've been wanting to sit down with you for quite some time. I haven't seen you for a while. How you been? I've been, uh, I've been good sideways, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you look good. Like I imagined a, a blob because, I, like, you know, when, wow. I, when I came in. No, I mean, because of MCO. I mean, look, I've gained weight and everything. Oh, Don't really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look the same. I look the same. Yeah. With white hair and everything. No, but I need to ask you, does fatherhood help you lose weight? Actually, no, it doesn't. Okay. Really? Because, you know, I mean, okay, initially it does. It's like a freak. It's like, you know... It's like, okay, the baby is there to help you flatten the curve in terms of weight. <laughs> and then after that, when the baby starts eating your food, every yeah. time your baby doesn't finish the food, you start eating their food. Their food. Yeah. But what does she eat now? She eats uh, rice uh, stuff that, you know, my wife cooks that I don't really eat because, you know, because it's, it's, it's baby food. Okay. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Kazel is two years old now? I know. She is two years wow. old. Yeah. She is two years old. Wow. And just, and just yesterday, she learned how to say shit. Yeah, I heard. I heard. Yeah. So how did that come about? Uh, I was talking to a bunch of friends. And yeah. then, you know, I was like, I don't know what the conversation was. You the know, like, when, when we get carried away, yeah. then I was like, oh, shit. Then she's like, ah, shit. And I was like, oh, <laughs> man. And then, and then my friend was so yeah. scared. And he was like, no, 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 you can't say that. But me and Michelle were just carried on, you know? And after that, when the baby walked away, I said, you know, next time when you say shit in front of your kids, mm. you cannot react like it's something crazy. Yeah, you just got to hold back, right? Yeah, you got to hold back. So the kids would not think that, oh, I'm going to say it again so that you know, my parents will freak out. Yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah. yeah so. How, a thing. how does Michelle feel about this, though? Uh, I, she and I are both clueless. Oh. <laughs> hey, we, hey, we're first-time parents, <laughs> la. Yeah, what do you expect enough. us to well, do? She's a first-time parent, um, but... Um, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got so, hope. What, what, what was the toughest part, dude? Like, you know, being a, being a parent? Because Arnold and I, I, mean, I don't know when we're going to be parents. But Fuck, man, this is my show, but Ian's coming here to interview me. What the fuck is going on? I just want to know what's going on. Like, with you, I got to know about the parenthood thing because I'm getting married soon. Um, I can't believe I'm giving Ian advice in parenthood. Ian, yeah, yeah, you should you be kidding me. Yeah. Okay, I should tell you, okay? When you, when you have a kid, it's, uh, okay, mm. number one, you must always remember, you must treat your kid like it's the strongest sperm. Because technically they are. So what? Congratulate them every day <laughs> and say you came out of here. Oh, good, good job! <laughs> Remember this? <laughs> this is oh, where you, yeah. uh, actually, actually, right, when I became a dad, I was completely clueless. Every day we would try to freaking problem solve. Actually, yeah. it's a lot of problem solving, you know. Yeah. Mm. Like uh, there was one time my daughter looked like she fainted. Mm. Yeah. And we freaked out, so we dress. Oh wait, we dress, but we drove like maniacs, me lah, basically. First, you got dressed in something <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, 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 know, we, know. Yeah. we we first we drove. I drove like hell to the hospital, thinking that yeah. my child was gonna die. I mean, touch wood. Oh my gosh! Mm. Then we got there. Uh, the 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 what do you call it? The um the doctor said that oh she's just having a fever. Very calmly. Oh, she's just having a fever. Took a pill, shoved it up her butt, boop, and she woke up. Oh. Uh, a suppository. <laughs> yeah. That's what they call so them, so right? kids. So <laughs> apparently kids when they have a fever. Kids is gonna hear this in like twenty years time. Be like, daddy. Oh man! <laughs> Shoved it up my butt. <laughs> yeah. wow. So so apparently when kids have a fever, <laughs> yeah. uh, they will feel very like you know they want to sleep more. Yeah. yeah. So because literally when I was like when she was having a fever, right, I I put her up and her head just went bleh. 
and oh, okay. behind there and both of us freaked out. So she was out lah. She was out lah. Yeah. So you know there are a lot there are a lot of one the first times where all of us like really freaked out. The first time where we thought she was choking. Mm. <laughs> yeah, serious. She was like uh, uh, uh. then she said like oh painful, painful and then she started holding her throat yeah. and both of us freaked oh out already. God, yeah. Then yeah. I carried her and she vomited all over me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah, I mean But that I, wasn't the first time, right? That I mean, wasn't the first time. Yeah. So it's like you know it's like, it's not food stuck, it's just that you know when we eat too fast we swallow it's air pockets into your, yeah, yeah, <laughs> your throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Air mm-hmm. pockets. But nobody <laughs> eats faster than than you, Jin. Yeah, you are the king of eating <laughs> fastest. I don't know whether you know, Arnold, when you have a meal with this guy, it's like within seconds. <laughs> okay, come, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I only do that because every time I don't finish fast, here comes with, hey, what's that? I can I have some? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it is. No, but since we're talking about your daughter, right, I was just having this conversation yesterday with Jin Hackman, who also recently had a kid. Uh-huh. And, you know, we're talking about schools and he's trying to decide if uh, he should send the, sc- the kid to international school or yeah. private school yeah, or yeah. public school. Uh-huh. And he mentioned, okay, public school, you become of a hard ass. Mm. You know, if you go to a p- private school, you become a bit of an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> wow So it's all to do with ass Isn't it So yeah What yeah. What are you thinking right now What are your plans right Oh man mm. I haven't thought that far yet You see that's my first time parents yeah. The second one No problem I already know You, you know, know It's gonna cost a fortune though When you have to send it to uni mm. And everything like that Unless oh. you get scholarship You know what I mean She's a bright girl Got good genes uh, yeah. Father's quite stupid <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Michelle. Go. Ah, okay, like Michelle's part. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Michelle's got a. She didn't get a scholarship, but uh, she had like an exchange student thing. So she went to Australia, but she paid yeah. Malaysian fees. Oh wow! Wow, that's yeah. that's a big discount, bro. Yeah. Especially now that works wow. now. I know. So, yeah. I don't. Okay, I I'll just want to say that my daughter is very smart. Mm. Yeah. She's uh she's now beginning to form she's sentences. Quick, right? Yeah, she's yeah. quick. I mean, like I mean, come on, man. She just learned how to say her first. Word. Swear word, yeah. yeah. Swear word. So I mean, like, I don't encourage anyone listening right now to teach your kids how to swear. <laughs> it's huh? gonna happen, legit. It's yeah. it's gonna happen. So you know, take this as an example of not trying to swear in front of your kids because, especially when you have your kids around and you're talking to your friends, yeah. and then you get yeah. carried away, you don't realize. So okay. do you, you don't say fuck bastard? No, I don't. <laughs> That used to be your thing. That's Fuck Boston. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I think I'm very, I'm very, very, I'm very, very PG, PG2, not PG13. Yeah. PG2, PG2 right? you know, in front of my daughter because she picks up everything. You, The, the thing is, like, uh, they, you will not, you not, you will not realize what they pick up. You know, like one day I was just walking down the stairs and I decided to make fun of her name instead of calling it Kazel because mm-hmm. I'm, I just went Kazel and she's straight out of, out of nowhere. She's like Kazel. I'm like, oh shit, she, she <laughs> caught on to that. Yeah, yeah. And then when I was talking on the phone with some of my colleagues and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, when someone picks up the phone, let's say Ryan, say, hey Ryan, and Sally from the side there. Hey. Ryan. I'm like, oh wow, so she, she listens. Yeah. Everything, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta be careful with that. But enough of me. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me just tell you quickly. When he said uh, he was chatting with Jin Hackman yesterday, oh yes. tell you the story of what happened. What? <laughs> he actually wanted to text you, but he texted Jin. Hey, so what time tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> and no. Because today he nearly texted him. <laughs> today, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was texting him last night. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. Hey, wait, wait, my question's not done yet. So <laughs> Chinese school or not? Because you. Chinese school or not? Because you are Chinese, Jin. Yeah, no, because the both of us, look, uh, Jin, you and I went to school together, right? Oh, yeah. We went to school, yes. And we are kind of bananas. We don't speak Chinese. Wait, he's not much older than you? I think I'm, two years, like one year or two. I'm a year younger than him. Yeah, ah, younger. Yes, yeah. Ian, right? Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah, Ian, I mean, like no one's as ancient as you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> You've been on radio Here I am still, dude. <laughs> I was yeah. a kid when I joined. Anyway. Yeah, um, I think, uh, okay, so a lot of people will say, hey, put in Chinese school. Mm. So that she can, when she, I mean, put in Chinese school in primary school. Yeah. Then secondary school, put there wherever you want. Right. So right. at least, you know, she gets to speak the base, the what? She gets to learn the the, the basic principles of Chinese language. Mm. Which is important, dude. It's going to like, everyone's speaking Mandarin now, dude. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Do you two speak Mandarin? No. Because I always know you as my Chinese friends who I can't depend on for Chinese situations. <laughs> no, not at all. You know? the, only, the only Mandarin I speak is Chibai. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Mandarin. <laughs> then oh, no, 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 sorry. Too. No, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's, no, that's, that's, oh, is it? No, that's Cantonese. La. Wow, you guys are quite broad huh, in, your, in your language. Yeah, oh, only for square words. Uh. Hai is Cantonese, bro. Chi oh, is, is Hokkien. Yeah. Yo, man. Yeah, what's yeah, what's yeah. Lan Bu? Huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. Huh? You know, can you imagine if we were still doing radio right now, we'd have lost our jobs the next day. <laughs> I know, I know. But sure. I think, uh, no, I don't, I don't think I'll put her in. China. I don't know. Not la. all the way, la. not all the way. Not all the yeah. way, though. What's all the way mean? Like full on Chinese school? Well, yeah, like, yeah. So like primary all the way until uni. La. You right. go, so how do you how do you do that? You do you do your, your schooling in Chinese and then how do you move on to university? Like if you want to go to an English uni, do they allow you in or do they- No, oh. no, they allow, I mean, they allow, I mean, it's just- Ah, uh, you're a bit too Chinese. You know, like <laughs> no. you're Chinese, you're Chinese, I've never mate. been to a Chinese school, but the thing is Chinese, they said, yeah. do you send your kids to Chinese school because 
they are more Chinese aggressive in terms of learning. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're more competitive. The yeah. teachers. Yeah, yeah, I heard it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's really hard. And yeah. if you fail, you are a dishonor to your entire generation. Wow. So, <laughs> something like that, lah. I mean, no, lah. It's a lot of pressure being Chinese, isn't it? No, it yeah, is. But yeah. do you regret not learning Chinese or Mandarin when you were young? Oh yeah, I do. Right. Because there was yeah. this hot girl that once before I dated oh. Michelle. <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> before you did, <laughs> well, tell us. Did he make it sound like before my life? Yeah, she's like, she looks amazing. You know, she looks like those Instagram models that you'll see mm. these days. And then she spoke Chinese, and like, ah, damn it, you <laughs> turned back. Yeah. I, I know. Before I was hanging out with you, this was the guy that was always looking at pictures on Instagram. Oh, like he like oh, oh, before, yeah, before, yeah, yeah, wait, wait, before there was Instagram, there was Twitter. There was Twitter, yeah, and there was Friendster. You know, yeah, yeah. 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 And, it's, it, and it's better that way because there was no such thing as a like button. Yeah, yeah you can just you admire. Just look, yeah, admire yeah. from afar. Oh, my yeah. wife is gonna kill me if she listens to this episode. She will. You know? Do you think she will? Like, does she listen to your podcast? Yeah, she does. And prof- uh, provided the fact that both of you are coming on, this. I told her that hey, I'm oh. going on the podcast. Yeah, you know, she's like, oh, oh, wow, oh, yeah. that would be interesting. You didn't mention Arnold's name. You have to mention Arnold's name. Uh, uh, I, I, I did. I said <laughs> Arnold and Ian. Yeah. <laughs> so she was like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this, and I'm like, okay, yeah, hi. So how many girls did you date before you went out with Michelle? Uh, again, Arnold, I don't understand why <laughs> has this become a show asking me but questions. At least people get to know more about you, the inside stuff. I've known you for ages, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Ages. I dated, so. I dated like... Uh, the, 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 uh, we say 787. Seven, no, 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 no. More than 10 or less than 10? Less, less than 10. La. Come on. La. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's just him being modest. On you know? the side, you see? <laughs> the no. side played what's for I've got hoes. Oh, I've got hoes. In different I don't. I think when I joined radio, I was dating that one girl. You know her. Oh yeah, 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 I yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, for as long as I was joined, I was in radio. I was dating her, and then mm. after that, only then I was dating Michelle. So yeah. before her, I think was another one. Maybe about. I think about four in total. There's mm. some dirtiness in between. Though. I remember that. Remember? <laughs> no, there wasn't. Before didn't. Michelle, though, I mean, not not during Michelle. Michelle's time was strictly Michelle. Yeah. I like to emphasize that <laughs> Michelle's time was strictly Michelle. Because all of us know Michelle because Michelle comes to our, our yeah. office to hand out music. Yeah. Michelle's listening to this right now and she's recounting the memories that uh, you know you guys have been you know, to, to see if the the, the numbers check out. You know? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm nervous You're talking about this. We're all scared of Michelle. Why? Right? Yeah. I'm nervous. Yeah. Everyone's everyone's scared, scared of Michelle. Michelle's like got this authoritative thing where she's like, no, okay, no, <laughs> I understand. Yeah, even more. It's even more. Uh, it's, it's even more deathifying right now that you know what she says no, but with a kid on the side. You know what Ooh. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She carries a yeah. kid on her hips and she's like, no. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, she looks like more of those soccer moms that you see on films and stuff. She looks very scared. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> now you're digging the hole, lah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Should stop soccer at soccer mom. mom. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> soccer mom, you know, Michelle. Yeah. Sorry. But why you lie? You are you planning to have a kid uh, or you already have a kid? Uh, no, not me. See, time is running out for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting Ian. to the age where I'm, I'm already 41, dude. And uh, can you Oh, really? Yeah. You don't look 41, Ian. Thank you. Thank you so much. You look like, you know, you look like those those, those guys who basically stay on radio like forever. <laughs> Actually, yeah, like you've been on hits for the longest time, I you have, know. I have, I have. Yeah, in the history, like Ian creates history all the time. Mm. You know, you know, he, he is right now he he creates history for being the one job being on hits for the longest time yeah. as compared to any radio jock that's been on hits for the longest. Hey man, I'll pay you like two thousand bucks if you work here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks you for the sh- offer. You sure? But it's got a lot of potential. Oh, look, my on-air partner is here. My current on-air partner. My God, I can't believe I used to go on air with both you guys. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah. So if yeah. People, if you're listening and you know you don't realize it, so Ian and I used to be uh, on-air <laughs> partners. Yeah. We used to be on-air partners, and uh, Jin would say on Taylor instead of. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. On Taylor. Do you, do you want to tell that story? Uh, no, I think like there was one time. It was it was the start of the morning show lah, where you know how mm. when you do the morning show I'm sure you go through this Ian's a pro because he's doing it since forever yeah. <laughs> when you're on the morning show <clears throat> it's like you co- climbing the corporate ladder of any company where it's the, the best the, the one spot that everybody aspires to basically work at right uh, the Hits FM Morning Crew is the biggest show in the country. And then, mm. you know, like, I think at that time we were, obviously there was a lot of pressure because, you know, every time when we started, I remember the bosses, like, okay, remember, Gina, um, you just have to be funny. The show has to be funny. Whatever that comes out of your mouth has to be funny. I'm not going to tell her who's, oh. who's imitating, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> huh? yeah. I think, like, there's a lot, like, there's a few, like, we went yeah. through a few bosses, like, you know, one fella's like, one, one sounded like, okay, guys, um, <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, we do what we can. We do what we can. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're not, all right. It's out, okay? Ch- hey, Jin, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Who are you guys talking yeah, about? If you don't know, it's okay. Are yeah. we not mentioning names? No, yeah. they don't were men- no, not mentioning names because you know some of them are previously used to be radio announcers. So uh, if our impersonations are, are, are on accurate, point. on point, people might know. <laughs> okay. All the old school ones are. 
so I remember we were doing something with Taylor yeah. Swift la, because Taylor Swift was the hottest yeah. thing right yeah. you know and you were in love with her and then you finally got to meet yeah, her yeah I didn't know who she was I was sent on assignment to go and watch a concert right then I was sent then is I that went how it happened yeah that, that's how it happened wow. and then um, I think Michelle was actually in charge of that promo mm. brought me in uh, there was a meeting grid I saw her wow she's so tall and she gave me a hug I was like oh I'm in love <laughs> and she remembered your shirt or something like that I remember next time she met you yeah the, the few three times the three times yeah. that I met her she said the <laughs> same wow. you met her three times yeah three times <laughs> wow so much yeah. for not being a fan so wait that, that meet <laughs> he's, and, not, he's, I am, I he's am. a big fan yeah but, I am I am no, he admits to it damn so that, wait that meet and greet before that you were not a fan you didn't know who she was I knew who she was okay. I mean I knew that she was this girl who sang country songs so yeah. I was like her, 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 her you oh, know wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah literally but that was like during the start of a career yeah. I think that was her speak easy album which blew up and made her like huge yeah. worldwide is that right? with that Romeo song uh, Romeo no 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 save me is I think the, the, the it's, it was the album after that Speak Easy right. was after I can't I, to be honest I really can't remember but after that I, I got all her for her discs her CDs and stuff like yeah. that her so when discs. I met yeah her discs <laughs> wow Jin <laughs> yep <laughs> so when I met her she gave me a hug and then after that she started a small talk I mean she tried to do small talk yeah. but obviously I, all, I didn't respond at all because I was just starstruck yeah. and after that you know I was like oh man who's this I'm in love yeah. uh, but she's, then after that I started listening to her music oh my god I can relate to her music <laughs> I feel you Taylor <laughs> yeah dude you. it's yeah. like whoa you know heartbreak and shit yeah I've been through that but you know it's so weird that a girl has to sing it for me to yeah, relate yeah. to Damn. then I think uh, we kind of did something on, on radio I mean, the way you started that off is that we kind of dated for four <laughs> no, no, months no 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 <laughs> yeah. and I remember uh, <laughs> we were going oh okay 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 I remember you remember that right okay just to for everybody to understand uh, when we say do a break is when we st- when we turn on the microphone and we talk okay yeah, 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 so yeah, here's something exactly. that people don't know mm. uh, for some people like me when I first started radio mm. I used to pre-record my talks because I was so afraid mm. yeah. I was such a perfectionist because you know I had to speak like an American yeah. to make sure that people find me professional actually yeah you've <laughs> let all that go haven't you yeah you know it's like that you know what time goes when you have a kid you know have wife married uh, yeah fuck it uh, <laughs> so I remember it was was uh, me and Ian yeah. about to go on air yeah. live? Yeah. We could yeah. not record it no, because I, I I put I have so told much him this. pressure. Yeah, I put pressure on him. I told him I don't know if I made you do the coffee thing. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, what I did is when I train people, I, I make them drink lots of coffee. Yes. Yes. <laughs> then you couldn't sleep. Remember that? It's a freaking idiot making me down like seven <laughs> cups of coffee before <laughs> I went on air. Yeah, was t- uh. Sorry, but I trained the best, man. Look at how great you two have turned out. Wow. Uh, well, oh. I left radio. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and, uh, That's so true. Speaking of the coffee story, I remember that and I hated you for it because I don't drink coffee, right? Yeah. And uh, we had um, we had the MMA fighters in and he wanted yeah, yeah. to do the martial tart challenge. Yeah. So he made me dr- drink this. Oh my God, I hate coffee, man. It's yeah. so bad. It was so bad. And then? And I was so wired the, the rest of the night. Uh, you yeah, sleep. exactly. Yeah, so. You didn't sleep. The next day he texted me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I remember I was so scared because we were going live, you know. It's probably yeah, one of the very few times that we like go yeah. live so, and Ian being a complete idiot <laughs> he turned on the damn microphone and I thought he was going to start talking like hey, it's FM this is Ian and Jane right. this fella sh- shut up and just looked at me <laughs> <laughs> gesturing like you know like go on go, go on go say something say something so like, blah, 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 don't worry don't forget you know there was a contest coming up soon you can win tickets everything a rush yeah you, there's a ticket coming up soon you can win we win tickets to get you know Taylor Swift blah, 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 blah. right ready on Taylor and I'm like uh. <laughs> and he fired off the song look at how great you guys turned out though. yeah you know I mean? uh, sure he, so yeah so for those of you who don't know Ian actually trained me uh, to yeah. go on radio not for the morning show no. uh, it was we were doing the night show mm. yeah, yeah and his training methods were horrible uh, although although I don't know he's like no man you know this is this is this you know this way you won't forget <laughs> He'll, he'll, you know, for every mistake I make, I actually after after he trained me, I got a lot more fit because mm. every mistake I made, I had to do fucking push ups. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't do that to you, did I? And Jin, Jin became great after he became the best night show job. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I can attest to that. Um, I used to we used to have guests come into the studio, yeah. and one time he made one of the guests ride me. <laughs> yeah. what? He, I got on. Oh, yes, he <laughs> I got on all fours. 
And the guest literally uh. sat on my back, bro, and rode me like a horse. Oh my god, is it the guest that basically left the stench? Yes, <laughs> yo, I remember that. <laughs> I remember, that, I remember right? him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yes. We had to open the door for the rest of the night. It yeah. was terrible. Spray yeah. the room. We love all our guests. We do. Yeah. We do. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> but, but look at you. I mean, you almost can't get away from radio in that sense. You're back to podcasting. You know, it's so big. funny that you mentioned yeah. that though, because like uh, I, I okay. So when I was doing the morning show, it was the toughest. I would, I, I have to say this. It was the toughest time of my life. Mm. You gotta wake up early. Mm. Um, that was tough, though. I mean, you have to admit that's yeah, one of the toughest things. A lot of people don't realize. I think okay, you guys are still doing the morning show. Mm. A lot of people think that you go on air, you sound fun, you do gotcha calls, ha ha ha, yeah, and everything. Like, oh, these guys must be fun, mm. you know. And most of the time, when um, I'm sure you guys get this all the while. I mean, Ian, we go out all the time after the show sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Go crazy, go makan, go, go whatever, and, and then like go home and sleep. Mm. When people see us, they be like, oh, you guys don't look like how you sound, huh? Because <laughs> we, <laughs> we're grumpy as anything. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, you know, we're there in like a mamak stall. Yeah, yeah. Prob- okay, back then, <laughs> we don't have phones yet. Phones yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have Instagram. We had phones. Yeah. We had we phones. Had phones okay? <laughs> <laughs> it it oh, wasn't that long ago. Oh, long ago. Okay, it wasn't that long ago. We had phones. We could text. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we, had, we had Twitter yeah, and then we, people would text. Yeah, we like, had Blackberries. Yeah, we had Blackberries, oh. yes. Oh. And then people <laughs> will leave messages and say, saw you guys from afar, but they didn't want to interfere because you guys look like you were in a serious conversation. And and people don't realize it that you know radio is actually pretty stressful. I had the most yeah. stressful two years of my life. Not because uh, I mean one of, part of it is part because, of it because of me. Man. Part of it is because of Ian being an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but the other the other part. <laughs> oh, wow. No, the other part. The other part was uh, the other part was because um, there was so much pressure because you were the number one show in the country. Yeah. Mm. And then and you do you, the thing is people don't realize it. You're doing the show every day. Yeah. 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 And then the bosses always tell you, hey man, whatever comes out, it has to be funny, man. It yeah. has to be top. Yeah. It, it, you always have to go and say, when you turn on a microphone, you must always remember, uh, the listener must always remember that, oh man, that's mm. funny. So you know what I mean? Everything you got to do. I mean, I don't I know because we're doing it right now. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's you know, become intrinsic. Like I'm dead inside. You know? <laughs> like, I don't know what to do anymore other than radio. You yeah. know what I'm saying? After so, work, we don't even see each other. No, Ian, we don't. Yeah, we've we got don't. a rule. We've got no speaking rule. Like yeah. he, he, he drove me here, but we don't talk to each other on the mm, way. Mm. That's to keep, you know, so that when we see each other again, we'll be happy. Yeah. Oh, really? timing dude like you know at six six o'clock in the morning yeah we're great friends you know he's like hey how are you oh my god and i see you by 10 o'clock we don't like yeah and it, yes exactly by 10 o'clock we like actually i don't talk to me yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great, great. and don't you hate it when people go oh it's very easy why your job you sit in a room for four hours and then you just talk cock wow okay. yeah not, you do it not right? that you not, do it yeah not that i'm big upping this job i mean yeah. it, it's a fun gig yeah but you know there's just like any other job it, it's got its challenges lah. dude yeah, right? definitely like, i think that's what you're trying to point out yeah right? i i I remember before I joined radio, mm. I used to do part time MCing lah. But only because, like you know, uh, okay, put it this. Okay, I don't even want to go to part time MCing. You know, in my family, mm. uh, we're all pretty like you know, ext- like extroverted. I was okay. I won't say I'm an extrovert, but we're all very like um, you're comfortable, right? On outgoing, yeah, outgoing, sing yeah. karaoke. Yeah. You know, when we <laughs> yeah, serious, sing like, karaoke. Exactly. Sing, are we going back to the Vespertine days? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no, no, don't go back to my band days. <laughs> <laughs> um, then you know your 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 uncle will say, "Wow, well, you're good, huh? You know mm. you should be a performer one day, you know." And then every time during a family gathering, you'll be the one making the announcements and stuff like that. So I used to do some part time gigs of the side to go on on stage and host stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah. And people will automatically automatically assume, yeah, you were born for radio. Yeah, it's true. Mm. Yeah, but when I did my first week on radio, it was hell. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. yeah, I remember even saying- But you were good though. I mean, you had, you, you had that night show with Ryan. I thought that was really good. Oh really uh, yeah, but that. before that, dude, after I finished one show, which was, I think it was the 10 to one yeah, show. Yeah. It was a three hour slot. Mm. Yeah. The, they put me there because it was not a peak <laughs> hour. Lah, because okay, so if, they got, if this guy fucks up, he fucks up in the less listenership hour. So, yeah, but that's what they do with everyone. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a progress. Yeah. Yeah, it's a progress. So yeah. after that, you know, I'll be like death. You know, I'll be like- <laughs> Yeah. I'd be like, oh my God, I just had the most stressful three hours in my entire life. And that yeah. didn't change until like maybe at least six to seven months later until you, yeah. you, you go- You fully grasp it, right? Yeah, be yeah. very comfortable. And even that, you know, like last time before going on radio, I used to listen to radio all the time. It's mm. like, oh my God, look, it's Ian on air. I'm listening to him. Yeah. And then after when Don't you go on radio- I was on air for so long, <laughs> <laughs> I listened to you when I was in primary school, okay? Hey, you listen to <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay? <She> bullshit, sorry. <laughs> I, I yeah. did, then primary school <laughs> really <laughs> primary school again. then then after that um uh when I went on air right mm. I always switch off the radio 
when I heard myself on air. Mm. Mm. Then that's and then, don't you? Aren't you guys like that? When you guys started radio, you kind of switch, t- tune off the radio. It's and weird to hear yourself. Yeah, it's it weird is. to hear yourself. So yeah. I did that. You know, for the lo- for the longest time, it took me a while to turn on the radio again and really be comfortable with my own voice. Yeah. So it, it, the thing is, a lot of people want to be radio announcers. They call it announcers, not DJs, because mm. DJs play music. Mm. We don't. Oh, you really had that insight. I know who did that to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you system, tick, 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 tick. And then, uh, and then uh, a lot of people tend to think that it's a glamorous life. They, the truth, yeah. the truth to that is, it's not really a glamorous life. Yeah. Mm. Imagine doing gotcha calls every day mm. for three hundred and sixty-five days a year, mm. two times. Okay, you need two gotchas. Remember that, Ian? Oh, we we. I don't know, back in our day, it was two a day. Yeah, yeah. I heard, yeah. I heard, yeah. Do you know, it, it, we played the best gotchas, you know, and we had to do two gotcha calls. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was crazy because, you know, there we're like, all right, guys, let's do gotcha calls right now. Okay, cool. We'll walk to the studio and then Ian will walk to the car. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Ian, where are you going? <laughs> oh, you know? Wow. Nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but at least you used to tell me, oh, uh, Jesus just called, so I have to, I have to go. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it must be important. You better go. La. <laughs> I, lo- I, I love how the fact that Ian was so, like, you know, animated, right, when he reverses to the lift. He still look at you. Ian, when you're going, he's like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and the lift door closes, uh, and he's still like, mm, 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 mm. and then you know, and then after you call him, it's like, why, Jin? Why? Say, aren't you gonna do gotchas? Nah, you you got you got to take it care of. I've got something to take care of. <laughs> hey, why do you gotta bring this old and stuff then, up, and man? And then he will drive off in his bright yellow car, <laughs> yeah. waving from the side because he knows you'll see. He's like, bye, <laughs> bye, Jin. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. And then yeah, not, don't even feel guilty about leaving work early. You know, it's crazy. And then you know, you know? that's not the best part. You come to work tomorrow. Sorry, he listened to the gotcha and he's like, it just sounds horrible. What did you do? <laughs> and then if it's wow. I don't remember doing that. Wow. And yeah, then and then oh if it's God. a great if it's if it's a great gotcha, it's like, see, you can do it. I knew you had it in you. <laughs> see, I'm training you. See, aren't you great? Aren't put, you great? Put my voice in at the end, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, I know it too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, this isn't about me, Jin. So, you know <laughs> <laughs> no, But but it, it was it's 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 I think to be honest, uh a lot of people ask me how how I am, where today. I think a lot of a lot of it came from uh our like I mean like I hate to admit it but a lot of it came from where I used to work in radio yeah. hanging mm-hmm. around with like a bunch of I, I was circle of our colleague our circle of mm. um, colleagues right are probably the best yeah. I'm not saying that Kalista and, and, and <laughs> Khalif no, no, and all no, are not I good I got you that, that team was unbelievable yeah that team was like yeah. unbelievable it's like uh, that team we had Natalie mm. uh, Adam. we had Adam yeah. you me and then Arnold joined us I mean Arnold joined I mean Arnold joined us a little bit later, but still, that was like the, the last, nucleus, yeah. the, the, yeah, yeah. the you part where- You that one, right? The superhero time. 2012. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. One hell of a year. Dude. Everybody like, joined yeah. and they didn't come in, they didn't treat it like a job. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They didn't treat it like a job. Yeah, they came yeah. in, we treat everyone, everyone like family. Everyone yeah. was looking mm-hmm. at each other. It's a more of like, hey, how can I sell his show? How can I sell his show? That was yeah. sell his show. Then that was, that was, that was freaking amazing. That was though. a powerful team, dude. Yeah. yeah. Remember that 2012 team? That mm-hmm. was really good. And everyone has yeah. left. And then, you know, you still have Ian. Well, I'm still there. <laughs> you know, and Arnold. <laughs> I know, I How know. long already have you been doing radio? Um, since 2005, dude. I went on air with Adam C. That was the oh, first time. Damn. Since then, 15 years, dude. But I, I mean, I had a two-year hiatus where I disappeared. Yeah, you just freaking <laughs> disappeared. Yeah, that, that, oh, that, that goodbye was a long one, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, See, Arnold? Yeah. I didn't see him for two years. At, at least your goodbyes, Jin. He came back to work the next day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Mine, uh, one day, it was uh, yeah for two years, bro. Oh, that, that, keep, that keeps happening though. When I was um, hanging out with him one night, I don't know what we did. Mm. We went out and um, we did whatever we needed to do. And we, I woke up the next morning and I had forgotten six months of my life. That's what one night with Jin will do oh, to you. Bro. I, I remember that. Sorry, actually, this one night was the one. That is what one night with Ian will do. I forgot six months of my life. You idiot. <laughs> You're trying to paint me as the freaking fella that remember all- Remember that? I got into this really bad accident or something like that. You remember that? Oh yes, I remember that. You remember that, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to the hospital all. I remember, yeah. And then we had to bring my YouTube videos to freaking like, hey Ian, do you remember this? And then he started <laughs> crying and I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> God. Yeah. So yeah. for, for the listeners, if you don't know the story was they went clubbing. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly something young people do, okay? Now MCO, you don't want a clubbing. Yeah. But, yeah. but um, after that, Ian, you got into a really bad car accident. Yeah. The car flipped and everything. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you lost your memory. I right? lost my, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I had a bit of amnesia, but I just mm. couldn't remember the direct events before. But I think it's slowly... Either that shit came back or I made up some bullshit in my head. Lah. <laughs> th- thanks to both you guys for visiting me a bunch of times. Though. Yeah. Really and, and, yeah. We, yeah, now that you mentioned it, we've gone through so we much, We've gone through man. a lot, dude. Hey, oh, but at God. least you got to party with Chester C that night, you know? Before. Well, I don't remember it. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, dude. Yeah. Before the accident. <laughs> that was that was when we were having some- Birthday bash. Birthday bash. Birthday bash, yeah. Yeah, at Taylor's. 
Oh my god, yes. Yeah, yeah, at dealers. It was crazy. I saw the pictures, yeah, I remember. <laughs> oh, you, re- you remember? You saw the pictures. I saw the pictures. Oh, okay. So yeah. You remember la. That was that was some crazy times, man, for yeah. us. I think yeah. like that that was when hits really knew how to party like hell. Mm. Well, you mm. had a high tolerance like a crazy dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> you didn't pass that on to your other Chinese brethren though, no, I can tell you that. No, 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 no. For me, for me it was as much as I I, I stopped now oh, because you, you know. Yeah, yeah. I cuz I'm a father, a father right now. Yeah, yeah, but why yeah. why does being a father have to stop you from doing that? Like, for, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Yep. Mm. I understand there's a lot of responsibilities. You can't go home and nut job like you did before. Yeah. You know, but you know, I'm sure you can have some time at night with Michelle, right? Yeah. I mean, okay. do you guys still do you guys still get it on? No. It, oh, when you get it on? <laughs> yeah, of course we do cuz you know, we have to always try and plan for the second one. I got to make sure it still works, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the reason why our <laughs> lifestyle <laughs> <laughs> Your interns behind the camera are going, oh my god, I really do not need to hear this. Oh <laughs> shit. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about, guys? I'm talking about the coffee machine, you idiot. <laughs> Jin, Jin's always been a guy that has a bunch of interns behind him. Yeah. I'm like, this is how he gets paid. You know yeah. I mean? so, Watch out, brother. Um, I think when we grew older, right? Uh, okay, obviously, number one. Yeah. Uh, when you grow older, your tolerance is not as as, as what it is before. Yeah. But uh, I think for me, it was okay. It's a little bit different. So my dad passed away because of you know yeah, yeah, alc- yeah. of drunk driving. So mm. my mom has always been very very like scared when it comes to right. Um, yeah. Me going at a party and stuff like that. I remember last time when I used to 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 work uh, at Astro. She was like, "Oh man, you know where you going out? You know where you going?" I'm like, uh, "I'm going out to party." And she gets really upset. I love mm. Grab now that we have Grab. Oh, yeah, oh it's yeah, the best yeah. thing. Grab. Oh, before Grab, there was Uber. It was a godsend. Yeah, you know, sure. you can go out and really be responsible. Mm. Uh, you know, but before she that, we. Be really <laughs> responsible. <laughs> 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 hey, Japan, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and most of the time, like last time, you know, I had to call Michelle yeah. to come pick. But actually, last time Michelle was the one that come up pick me up, like. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I think as You've we grew up, two very awesome women in your life. Yeah, I think my mom also sometimes will follow Michelle and come pick me up if I can't drive. Yeah. I remember that. And uh, yeah. okay, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful my mom didn't shell me in the car because yeah. it'll probably even she did, so I didn't listen. Yeah. <laughs> you can't remember. <laughs> but I think as we grow older, like uh, for me personally, because I have a kid, mm. it's more of like, hey man, if I still go on with how I used to go on, mm. will I make it? Till my daughter's graduation. That's a really good point. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that hit me really hard because yeah. it's like, hey man, you've heard of stuff like people um, like having really health complications when they're like 40, mm, yeah. 50. So that kind of freaked me out. It, as a matter of fact, right, um, the reason why we really uh, started getting to work to have a child is because one day we were so re- uh, caught up with work, me and Michelle, so both yeah. of us run uh, this company. And then we were like, okay, so I'm 33 and Michelle's 30. Right, mm. and then we still in our minds, right? We still haven't said like, "Oh, let's have a kid, let's have a kid." And then one day we were like thinking, "Hey, so if we have a kid now, right? Mm. Obviously, we'll have a we'll, we would like you know we'll give birth to the child when she's thirty one and I'm thirty four. Mm. So when she, she's so, very good at math, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so if she graduates, she's gonna be twenty one. It means I'm gonna be fifty. Oh crap! Now oh, wait, wait, thirty four plus twenty one, shit, fifty five. Yeah, yeah. Then after that, she's not far from my age <laughs> now. <laughs> So, oh so, the, so after that, the next question kind of yeah. sh- kind of shocked us. Not yeah. shocked us, but scared us a little bit. Yeah. Will I make it to fifty five? Mm. Then we got straight to work. It's very dark way. Well, you got yeah, we got we got straight to work, and then like, oh, yeah, how was I remember long, that. How that, long did it go? that was in October, and yeah. and by December she went to Hong Kong and she party countdown everything, and then she went party drink, and after that January came back. Oh no, I'm pregnant, oh, and then wow. she was like celebrating, both of us celebrating. After that, she kept quiet. I was like, why? I was drinking. Oh. <laughs> I didn't catch that. I was smoking in oh, Hong Kong. Man. Oh, yeah. and, and 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 be like she panicked because it's like, you know, the first three months are the most crucial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know you're supposed to take a lot of folic acid, you gotta make sure your diet's okay so that you don't get miscarriage. Yeah, I didn't know that. No, yeah. No. So so we like straight away we went to the doctor, the doctor was like, Oh, it's gonna hurt me, you wanna hear? So we heard oh. and then you know, turn up the volume and then you hear Okay, okay, cool. Um, it's you know, definitely your kid. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely my kid. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that, that straight away, Michelle, complete turnaround. Yeah. yeah. Her, her diet, she took care of herself, sleep, didn't drink coffee, didn't drink alcohol, nothing. Mm. Okay, she everything. gave birth and she looked good immediately afterwards. How did she manage to maintain? When you breastfeed, you lose a lot of weight. Okay, thanks. So, Ian, after you have a kid, you should breastfeed, should breastfeed you know. Why <laughs> don't I breastfeed you first after the show? <laughs> If you can try it. Yeah, yeah. so uh, breastfeeding, okay. Breastfeeding is good because number one, not only will you actually, it helps you to the lose. Three of us are talking about this. <laughs> this episode is a fatherhood tutorial. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Let's go on. Not only will it help you lose weight, but it will actually, uh, you know, lower
lower down the chances of you getting breast cancer. Yeah. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Right. So so it's good. It's always you know you should, uh, doctors and uh, nurses will always encourage the uh, 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 mothers to breastfeed. You know they will always come into the room. Yeah. And then they will ha- you say okay uh, just here, here's one thing you should know when you give birth. I'm not I'm not saying guys huh? Mm. Ladies you know when you're in a hospital your breast is public property so that all the nurses will just come in okay no that's not how you breastfeed come let me do it for you and then you have like oh, yeah, a few she just grabs it yeah it <laughs> serious you have like a few nurses coming in okay this is how you do it and then you, yeah first you be awkward yeah. second time you be awkward the third time you know what just go do what you need to do does it make a difference if uh, the child is naturally sucking on it or if you're pumping the milk out of like into the the bottle? Hey, the child hasn't, the brain hasn't grown yet. They don't know how to suck, okay? You you, you need to basically, actually no, my yeah. baby sucked very well. <laughs> you, but you need to guide the, you need to guide the, you need to guide, you need to guide the kid. <laughs> It's an, what, what? No, My no. baby sucks very well. Yeah, I know. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Serious. Ah, it's instinct, mm, lah, baby. No, maybe he doesn't see it yet. You mm. know, he's very fatherly. But um, yeah. No, quick question. I think what Arno really wants to know is: Did you ever hold Kaze and she went? Oh, she, did she? Oh, did did Kaze bite my nipple? Yeah. yeah, she did once. Oh, oh wow. God. Okay. Even without teeth, right? It's damn it's painful. painful. Like, yeah. how dare you do that to daddy? What did you have? The pressure is very high. Oh my god. Seriously, babies. How, how do you get them to stop? I mean, I'm sure there's a method, right? First, you, not, please, first, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> you yell really loud, so it shocks the baby. Oh my god! The baby like, oh, what's going on? And then uh, you open his mouth. Ah! Then you pull it away. Oh. Yeah, and then you scold the baby. <laughs> don't do it again. Although they won't understand what's going yeah, on. Yeah. But yeah, um, uh, there will be a time where they will never be able to distinguish mom's mom's breast and dad's breast. Yep, yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> I have man, <laughs> I have man boobs too. <laughs> but after a while, they'll, they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll get the hang of it. Yeah, Does yeah. it get easier though? I mean, that's, that's what I really wanted to know. Like everyone says, once you get used to it, things start to flow. Of course, mm-hmm. it'll get that, easier. That but everything is again like problem solving la. None of us knew what it was. In fifteen years' time, she's gonna have a boyfriend, you know. Oh really? Uh, uh what, the, the, what the boyfriend is what Ian's child is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying, in fifteen years' time, I've got a, I've got a trick for you. You ask him, are you gonna do anything with my daughter? Oh and if man. If he says no, then say leave your dick here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I. I, I haven't I, I actually you know what there's actually one night I actually thought that far what uh, happens when my daughter starts dating dating uh, a mm. guy and then I told myself I was like oh I wish my daughter would date a guy like me a complete coward and won't do anything yeah. <laughs> yeah. how could you say that you know actually with, this is not to blow up steam up your asshole or anything like that but we're just talking about this now mm. one thing about you we realize is whatever you want to do you go out and you fucking do it yeah like yeah, with the yeah, band yeah, yeah. You, you want to be in a band I'll do it. You make it I happen, man. I want to make man. a YouTube oh, channel. Yeah. I'll do it. I want to do a podcast. <laughs> I'll fucking do it, and you do it. Yeah. Which is respect, bro. Yeah, but those are things that are you know that doesn't. That it's like you know you are your own rejection. Bullshit, though. I mean, look at look at you, man. Uh, so you gotta give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah, yeah. la la la. This is all. No, he doesn't like it. Does yeah, he? <laughs> da, da, da. I, I think we should talk about your band, lah. Yeah, Vesp- no. Vespertine. Please, come on. Vespertine, 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 Vespertine. Do you know? Do you know? Okay, so fine. I used to have a band, mm. and yeah. I thought it was cool to you know take a photo, do a photo shoot shoving my middle finger into the camera thinking <laughs> I was like you know Chester Bennington of Linkin Park yeah, I mean, but you were love. young yeah funny. we were all young yeah. Yeah. and I remember giving my CD mm. to Ian uh, oh, this wow. was okay, okay I even know the exact place you know yeah. that club used to be called Orange if you don't know where it is it's along Jalan Pinang yeah, see I didn't even right. know the oh, road yeah, during, during Blast Off during Blast Off Blast Off used, used to be like this uh, game this it was a poor man's American Idol yeah, <laughs> it, it was, was a band American Idol. It was like a band American band. Idol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle of the bands. Battle of the bands mm. that was on TV on Astro at one point yeah, in time. Yeah, I went for the finale, mm. uh, and then I saw Ian. Ian was the host. You started off as a TV host before being yeah. a radio host. Correct, so correct. Ian was this guy on TV, mm. and then from afar, I was like, "Oh my god, it's Ian!" I was this <laughs> kid, you know. I was just like, hey, "Can you not make it seem like y'all are so much younger than me? <laughs> You're I was, five years younger than me, so calm down." <laughs> I was this seventeen-year-old kid. Yeah. I was like, "Oh my god, it's Ian!" And then my bandmate was there. Hey, give him a seat. Like maybe you know, give him a CD. I went up to hi Ian. Like uh, this is my band, you know. Uh, yeah. And then he's like, oh hi, you know, in his all like celebrity voice. Like, oh hi, hi, nice to meet you, Ian. Like, what's your name? I was Jin. All right, well, I haven't listened to it. Okay, thank you very much. No, come with that. Put it in the bag, and I never heard from it since. <laughs> But you know what? You know what's funny? I don't know if I told you this story before, but I've got a very similar story. It doesn't end so well as well. So when I was uh, <laughs> in the early years, I was hosting this The Wanted uh, perform a showcase at the school, Sri KDU, I think. Right. Yeah. And in the crowd, this little girl was waving at me, right? Yeah. She's like, oh, that's, you know, like, I mean, I'm a star, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, she definitely wants to take a picture or something, right? <laughs> so I walk over, you know, all cool and suave. Yeah. And yeah. then this little girl says, hi, my name is Talita. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talita Tan. Here's my CD. Do you know Ginny Boy? Oh! <laughs> 
Can you please pass this to him? Oh, so Talita it did that? It wasn't yeah. about him at all. And it was Jim. not about me at all. Yeah. Oh, man. I was like, oh, oh no picture? <laughs> so oh, no, man. And uh, yeah, but I, but I actually no, gave... you did say that, didn't you? I, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> but I actually gave her CD to uh, whoever it was at that time. And look at her now, man, Talita Tan. Yeah. This was when she was like 17 years old. Like I you. Yeah. yeah, and now yeah. she's like... Uh, I mean, she got her single on, on hits. It's a mm. big deal. Mm. And then, you know... Uh, so this is a way to start your career, everyone that's listening. Get a CD now. Go old school, <laughs> and then you know, wipe it down with hand sanitizer and give it out to the first radio announcer that you. Yeah, see. and yeah. have him ignore you. And then, ignore, I'm sure I didn't ignore you. It's just that it must have been a lot of people giving up CDs at that time. The uh-huh. next, the next, okay, the next time I met Ian was when I joined Astro, but not as a radio announcer. Was yeah. I was as I was. You took over my job. Yeah, a promotion, a promotion, yeah. client promotion. So yeah. we used to write scripts and all those um, yeah. stuff, and then. Uh, I think we were doing our induction la. You mm. know where they take you for a tour. Yeah, orientation. Orientation or whatever, yeah. and everything. And after they brought you to the, I know that Ian would lo- loves orientation because every time when there's a new bunch of uh, people, right, new <laughs> meet, they're new girls. <laughs> So Ian, I'm not like that anymore. Okay? Sounds yeah. like him. Yeah. yeah. Like him. So every time, like, when there was a new, new uh, team of people joining Astro who's going for their tour, Ian would be like, "Oh, here they come!" <laughs> All right, I'm getting married on the 21st of November. Yeah, you know, like you know, trying to put his announcer voice. <laughs> Open the door, and say, "Hi, everybody! Hi, welcome to the Hit Studio. My name is Ian. Uh, yes, let me show you around. This is how we go on air." And after he would, he would go live. Mm. All right, he would turn on the microphone, <laughs> and Ian would go like, "Hit on the fan relations number one. Hit on the fan station. What's up? It's Ian here." Blah, 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 after that, he'll press a song, he'll fire a song. After that, he'll off the microphone and he'll put, put the microphone away and he'll look at them and it's like, that's how it's done. <laughs> that was a trick though, Arnold. Then they'd be like, oh my God. And everybody be like, wow, clapping. You know, they'll be like, wow. <laughs> what a star. And yeah. literally, they know bastards. We all record our, pre-record our shows. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go live. He probably had a, like a massive heart attack going live at <laughs> yeah. time. Hope he doesn't mess up. Hey, but I came from that era where we actually used to go live. Yeah, and yeah, That was yeah. when you, you caught the cusp end of that, right? Take Technology spoiled us, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No. technology allowed us to take out our imperfections. Yeah, just like how Instagram. That's what I used to tell you. Mm. When, in fact, now, Jin, when we when we edit, we say, "Are you gonna do a Jinny Boy TV?" <laughs> <laughs> What? Are you gonna do it? I always tell, I yeah. tell Arnold. Yeah. This every time I try to go back and edit something, he's yeah. like, "Oh, you're gonna do a Lim Kok Jin, is it?" <laughs> You could change his thing. Hey, go outside for a while. I'll be like, why? Why am I going outside? Go outside for a while. He'll edit all his imperfections. So when he goes on there, I'll be like, hey, Jin, what's going on? Yeah. Hi, Ian. Everything fine. <laughs> and that's it. And, and I remember uh, the Jake man. Jake man is our boss, by the way. Mm. He used to call me a robot. <laughs> yeah, because because I always try so hard to sound perfect, and because uh, when I make a mistake in that recording, I will mm. cut it out. And because when you edit, yeah that one yeah, line change, and okay. try to make yourself perfect you sound like a robot because there's yeah. no there's no naturalism yeah. if there's no even such a word breathing yeah. and the pauses and all that yeah, yeah I remember it used to call a robot Jin is robot Jin robot hi my name is Jin <laughs> out, out of love you know what I mean but anyway listen I was talking to Rudy the other day and he yep. actually remembered something he was like Jin my god he was the first guy that came in and you gave him some ideas for that 24 hour thing something you videoed it <gasps> oh yeah always keeping, so he's always grateful about that Right. You, know, you, you you chatted with him and you were you're the only one talking to him, right? I think uh yeah, I think um JJ and Rudy were doing yeah. a forty eight hour yeah. broadcast non stop. Twenty four, I think. Twenty four hours. Something for Madika. Because we, we did forty eight. I remember we busted. No, them. it's something okay. That yeah. that time it was uh <clears throat> I was still in client promotions and I you was spent all the time with Yeah. Them, huh? So uh, it was Malaysia's something birthday lah. Mm. If it was, let's say, well, how, okay, to be honest, how was Malaysia right now? I forgot. <laughs> Just turned 57 last year. Right? So, 57 lah. Uh, okay, yeah, this right. is probably about. Oh, 57 lah. Fifth, oh, what? What? 63? 63. Is it? Okay, good. Our intern. In, oh, our intern. intern uh, can, and I said, can there tell. I am going with just 57. <laughs> good at yeah. fact checkers, man. Yeah. It's Thank good. You, you just passed your internship. Well done. <laughs> uh, here's an applause for you. Um, I, whatever. La. Let's say, okay, let's just let's just take it as Malaysia was 50 years old and we were doing a 50 hour broadcast. Yeah. And then uh, I think that yeah. was when uh, I had to literally be there and make sure that the morning crew were yeah. taken care of. Wow. Food and everything. And, uh, for 50 hours yeah for 50 hours like for me is I'll go back sleep two hours come back and then stay in the studio or sometimes I'll sleep in the studio as well yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then I uh, think but you did spend a lot most time there because yeah, 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 yeah. you passed out yeah yeah yeah, then, yeah 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 so mm. you know whatever Rudy uh, or JJ wanted you know we basically I had to go out and buy it and I make sure oh. that everything they I remember they wanted like beard papa as well I went buy beard papa oh, beard papa so good <laughs> yeah and then, <laughs> and then uh, I think that's where I kind of like you see you know when when you're on the other side of the the fence, right? Yeah. You look at these guys as like icons because it's JJ and Rudy. Yep. They are, you you listen to them yeah, when you yeah. grew up, right? Yeah. And everything that you want 
that they, they want you to do is like, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. You know mm. what I mean? I'll, I'll, I'll go and do it. And like, that, I think that was really when I got to know Rudy as more of like a human me rather than yeah, an announcer. Yeah, then he calmed down a little bit, right? Yeah, mm. then he calmed down and kind of like, and he, and the first, I remember he just sat down and when the microphones were off, Rudy, when he did their breaks and stuff, he just looked at me. So tell me, man, what do you do? You know, what, what, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you. So what do you do, man? What do you yeah. do, mom? Oh, uh, yeah. So, you know, where were you before? This? You know, and he started having a conversation off off topic, yeah. not not in relation to work. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's where we kind of like, uh, like for me, that's where I got to know that, hey, uh, even celebrities are humans, mm-hmm. you know? And then uh, JJ and Rio, like, we got to talk. And like JJ taught me how to do the photography. And for me, it's like, I told Rudy like, hey, you know, we should do videos uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Of, of something. And then um, I think later down the line, we had this uh, company trip, mm. which Ian, for some reason, never ever remembered that I was a part of that trip. <laughs> in Ban- trip was in this? Bandung, la, remember? You didn't come for that I trip. I did go for that trip. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that you went. Yeah, but okay, it wasn't the Bandung trip. I think it was the Bali trip where uh, I think Rudy was a part of the organizing committee. Yeah, well, we did record the video, right? Yeah, we recorded the video. Thailand, Thailand bro. Oh, Thai- oh, Thailand, yes. Thailand. It's one night in Bangkok. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 watermelon, watermelon. Yes, <laughs> yes. So yeah, people could not, uh, if, okay, just for just for context. Yeah, uh, context. Definitely. Watermelon, uh, we, people, we were trying to get people to- uh, Memorize lyrics. S- memorize lyrics, but they couldn't, mm, right? Mm. For for visual for visual purposes, I got we, we got everybody to say watermelon, that watermelon, was your watermelon. Idea. That was your idea. Yeah, so we got the boss, we got Sri. Sri is our chief operating officer at that point <laughs> yeah, of time, right? Mm. So I think Rudy was the head of that project. Yeah. I think he then and then I went around and we made that music video. And yeah, then yeah. I remember when we played it at the at the uh, at the, the dinner, the dinner, dinner yeah. it was it made me feel so good because it was me, Rudy, all of us that like you yeah. the hits team sitting around mm. looking at that video and all of us like, hey, I mean, we, we did good, man. And, every, and then you did zeros, which was amazing. Amazing. Do you remember uh, that? that? No, was, I didn't do zeros. Didn't you do zeros? Oh shit! Yes, did I did. That was like your your pet project. Yeah, no, I it's I, I, it's not zeros. It was something else. It was zeros was done by somebody else. When you want it though, or something like that. No, 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 no. I'm I was sure, I haven't I'm joined bad. last zeros. Sorry, yeah. No, it's okay, bro. I'm just I'm I'm listening. Yeah, <laughs> this is this was this is before this this is before Arnold was born. He was still a sperm swimming around. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I, yeah, I, I listen to Ian on when I was in primary school. <laughs> hey, you can stop that now. So, and now you're on air with him, okay? I know, right? So show yeah. some respect. This is like uh then. Then that's, I think that's how I kind of, I think it was because of that. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot more confident in making videos. Yeah. Mm. And then I'm like, oh, okay. And, then and you did the Jin hack, Jin versus Jin video. I think you did the video. Yeah, that, I remember right? that. Uh, yeah. uh, Ian's show. It was Ian's show. Mm. Uh, what was that kid's name? That skinny little kid that you videoed first? Because I remember that was one of the first. Sean out. Lee. Not Sean Lee. No, uh. The other skinny little kid. <laughs> <laughs> how many skinny kids are there? I don't know. The, the, the white kid. Remember Ed, Ed Graham? Johnny Fashion. Grayson Chance. Grayson Chance. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ed Graham. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> wow, it's bringing back some memories, man. Yeah, and, and actually, to be honest, uh, the YouTube channel actually exploded together with hits. Yeah. Um, like, um, when hits uh, decided to come, hey, we should work together. Yeah. Um, and and that's where I think you know we started writing parodies. I mean, mm. I mean, hits really did parodies. Yeah, but some yeah. of those videos were the bomb. Yeah. The so then for me, it's like, okay, bomb. cool. I'll make music videos for those yeah. parodies. Yeah. 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 Opa Gangnam style. Yeah. Opa like, Gangnam yeah. style. And that's when it really exploded. Thirty million views, and I'm like, oh shit, you know. Mm. And we did only in Malaysia. That one went crazy. I haven't seen any of the cash yet, though. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I'm just kidding. I'm just, kidding. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. Uh, so that's when I think that's when it it, it uh like a, a, a part of like as much as what I do today. Like yes, you know I love what I'm doing, but I think a lot of it kind of was born when I was working with hits with the family in 2012. Right. And everybody was just so game. Hey, let's do a video. Yes. Like even with Ryan, mm. it's like let's do a video. Yeah. Mm. We're all game. I think it just predates it though. That desire for you to want to do. It. You always wanted to like when when you came in, you had the different hair. <laughs> you, know, you wore a different outfits. So everyone's like, okay, this guy, you know, he might be somebody. And when you came in the studio, you you were comfortable, and it was something that you always wanted to do, right? I mean, yeah. it's, just, it's just it just so happened that doing it's this just gave me that confidence yeah. to yeah to do whatever I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and that and that money too, because you know, <laughs> not to say I was paid that well, <laughs> but you know, the side jobs paid, so you know, yeah, I I could sure. buy a camera for sure, for sure. Yeah, it opens up more doors to you know. Yeah. Oh man, I feel kind of like left out because I realize that you two have big projects on the side. I'm the only one that has nothing. That's why I hang on radio, like, you know. I don't have a big project on the side. <laughs> you got yeah, 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 like, you got Jin and I wore nothing but that during the 2010s. Okay? <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, it's, it's like, like the pocket. It's like, yeah, <laughs> I remember. It's like, first 
things first, you know, we're going to buy it first because yeah. it's an idiot. It's like, <laughs> he wouldn't give it. He wouldn't give it. So it's like, it's like so our plan was, can okay, we buy it first, make him feel damn guilty so he'll give it to us after that. Instead, he said thanks, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, th- he'd be like, no, he'd be like, hey, thanks, macha. <laughs> Support yeah. local, man. Yeah. What you don't know is before you joined the station, yeah, there yeah. was a Chinese Indian man that joined the station <laughs> before you who used the lingo that you did and that was Jin. And yeah. I'm a macha. <laughs> yeah. Why is it that, why is why? it that way? Uh? Right. We're so it is easily influenced um, around the, the hits culture to say macha. <laughs> I don't know though. The sound is certain You way. ate a lot of Indian food though. It, dude, it was like the cafeteria was our playground. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, a lot of people still think I'm Indian. Yeah, they oh, do. really? Yeah, they you think. sound it. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Someone asked me like- Actually, you know what? I think I know why. Why? It's because of Adam C. Yeah, what do you do? Adam used to freaking impersonate everyone. <laughs> Remember, at one point in time, he used to go on radio. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and suddenly the whole country. Yeah, you came up with that. Actually, no. You, you were calling me yeah. No, Hi, it was what Adam. Is? It's Adam. Remember, Adam keeps going on air. It's like, hi, Mr. Yeah. Yeah, that I remember, yeah. Yeah, and the whole country it didn't call off. you Ian. They call me Ian. They call you Ian. Hi, Ian. <laughs> yeah, Adam used to, you know, Adam, like, we love him to death, but yeah, he's an man. idiot. He likes to impersonate. <laughs> Everyone's, oh, you know, he's the best. Yeah. He, 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 every time I, when I'm saying something, he's like, oh, he keeps. <laughs> Have you seen him lately? No, I would. I t- every text him every once in a while. Yeah, and then you know he would be like, hey, how's your ass? <laughs> <laughs> so random, so random. Yeah, he told me a random story about Arnold. Uh, so, um, Adam actually met Jeff Goldblum on the plane. Jeff, oh, yes. Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park from Jurassic Park <laughs> and a bunch of other films and then Arnold has this big interview with Jeff Goldblum yeah. the first thing he says when he sits down is hey you met my friend on the plane huh <laughs> <laughs> I said oh recently you actually met one of my friends on the, uh, in the airport right yeah, trying, to, trying to give him like you know some small talk like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just warm him up I thought you hate small talk right? <laughs> hey, but sometimes it's necessary <laughs> <laughs> then, what, then, what did, then what did he say then he said oh yeah I'm sure I remember your friend tell your friend I said hi <laughs> <laughs> so what's his name I said it was Adam hi Adam Adam, <laughs> I don't well, fucking remember. Right? You must have felt really stupid after that, right? <laughs> yeah. Then, like, I, then I proceeded to tell him <laughs> I actually never seen Independence Day one. Oh, <laughs> yo! What's wrong with you? So he was like, "What? Is this? <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is for which interview? Independence resurgence, two. resurgence, yeah. which which wasn't as good as part one. It was okay, terrible, cool. yeah. man. <laughs> so man, bad. we like like amongst us three over here, we have met so many celebrities. Okay, who's the biggest guy that you ever met? I, I always debate this. I met the guy. That you've always wanted to meet. What slash? The Rock. Oh, you met The Rock, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, Ian hates me. He hated it. The first person I texted was Ian when I met The Rock. I yeah. yeah, I was like, I, I, I said that oh guy, I, I sent in a picture, and Ian was like, I hate you. <laughs> because Ian always tries to be The Rock. Yeah, yeah. He's, um, although he's half the size of The Rock. Size <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> no, go on, I don't, don't hold back. I mean, half is a bit of giving him too much credit. Thanks, three quarters. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, I remember telling Ian, was like, uh, Ian was like, you know, I want to interview The Rock. You yeah. know? I, for me, it's like, yeah, The Rock, because both of us, we love wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Ian, this is one thing people don't know. When the microphones are off, Ian will basically practice his bloody WWF oh. moves on me. Oh. And then it's like, Jin, it's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's not wrestling moves, okay? <laughs> Hi, I'm going to try my choke on you. Can you breathe? Yeah. Can you breathe? And I'll be like, tap out, tap out. I'll tap out. And he'll still choke me. I know he's, he's not familiar. He's anyway, I moving. know, really? He still loves picking random people up in the office and just showing them he's strong, you know? Yeah. So, so hey, how's, you, how's your mom? <laughs> My mom's I'm trying to change the but Ian, Ian, I think Ian, I remember he got so starstruck when he met Metallica. Oh, dude, mm. James Hetfield, you remember that? Yeah. You came with me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. And Ian was like, oh, 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 oh. And Slash, remember we met Slash yeah, too? Yeah, Slash. And I was there. Yeah. I was brought there. Yeah, as, as a, a photographer. photographer. <laughs> oh right, hey, but you were the best. You took the best photo. I still have that photo until today. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but yeah, at least yeah, you yeah. got to meet them. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. like Slash wasn't really my generation. I mean, like okay lah. Okay that was la. the biggest for me. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you know you see Ian, and then you know our bosses were there all taking pictures, and I was just just stepping, 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 stepping. Brian stepping, was stepping. the one that went nuts. Yeah, he Brian cried went nuts. After that. <laughs> yeah, Brian was our old boss, by the way. I still see those pictures. Brian had this really long hair, right? Yeah. 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 What, about, what about for you? Huh? Like, who's the biggest that you met? Like, I never knew know who you look up to. I've known you all these. Years, but I mean, it's got to be between Jackie Chan. Wow. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Jackie Chan. You guys have met Jackie Chan as yeah, well. He came, yeah, yeah, we yeah. interviewed the yeah. that, that we interviewed him for that show that did horribly. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah John yeah. Cusack, the was in myth it. or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, it was, yeah, a myth. It was yeah. a horrible show. Uh, yeah, it was more like a miss. Anyway, yeah. Charlie Theron's pretty oh, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was yeah. Chris Pratt. I oh guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy, right? Our line of work allowed us to to 
meet so many people. Yeah, very people. lucky for sure. Yeah. And yeah. now that YouTube crowd has sort of like t- taken over in a sense, so you met a lot of them. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think, okay, to be honest, I met more people uh, during radio than I did YouTube. Oh, really? I think YouTube, so. You met a lot of YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, YouTube, I did a lot yeah. of YouTube. I did. I, I was able to, to meet a lot of YouTubers, big stars, and all. Uh, I was also able to organize a lot of concerts as well. So mm. and yeah. you know oh, it I was didn't know about that. yeah it was it was fun because you disappeared. You know I don't know where you went. Oh, I would do my hiatus. <laughs> yeah, you right. disappeared in the face of the earth. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, I mean that was that was probably I don't know probably one of the best years of our lives. Mm. I mean my life I think mm. you know working in radio growing up. Yeah, uh, not having to worry too much until the morning crew came because you know. Morning crew was stressful, it's dude. Stressful. It yeah. was so stressful. I, I, I think like um, I came to a point where I couldn't take it anymore, and then I resigned. Mm. I yeah. mean, not because I hated the job, it was because like I think it was more of like I could not. Uh, I at that point in time could not take the stress of having to be funny. Yeah. Mm. Uh, three hundred sixty-five days a year, mm. and having to be able uh, to always like you know. Uh, you know when you go and sit in like you sit for an exam in school, right? At the end of the qu- at the end of the semester, you get a report card day. Yeah, yeah. it felt like that, right? Radio, you have a report card day every, every day. day. Every day, I remember yeah. that. No, yeah. thank God we don't have that anymore. Oh, really? Now it's really quite good. Like Arnold's got this way of doing things. He taught me a lot <laughs> of stuff. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know if you should reveal. No, this he taught on. me a lot of stuff. <laughs> which is, if you don't need to do it, no need lah. <laughs> Okay. Hey, why you want to call them? Oh. And then you bring up more stress, <laughs> Okay. No, 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 no. He's dude. He's. I tell you what. He's really smart with how to handle yourself in radio. I get way less stress now. Oh wow. And, and he taught me a lot. Like this, this young man taught me a lot, Jin. Like he's got a lot in his brain on how to cut corners. Cut on how to, corners. Not cut corners, but how to do things without exerting yourself. Wow. Yeah. You look at how well kept he is. You, you know, like, you you know. make me sound so lazy, bro. <laughs> not lazy. <laughs> just hey, smart about how you work. Lazy people are the smartest people ever. Yeah, they, can, they, they, solve, they, they, they solve the problem in the the most efficient way ever. Well, you know what? I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take that. No, I say publicly, thank you, man, for teaching me all these things. You're you know? welcome, bro. And he told me about how not to get mad. Also, I, I hardly get. I haven't got mad since I come back. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know how? Uh, he says you don't want to be that guy. <laughs> you don't want to be the guy that everyone looks at. And, oh, he's angry. Do you want to be that guy? Follow after that, he'll start screwing, uh, get, getting angry with some young. <laughs> hey, I'm on a low. I'm on a fucking low. Okay. Why should I do this? Yeah, hey, never say that again. <laughs> you oh, say that. But, but yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I just uh, I think just last week you guys uh, had this little duo with Jason Leong, and mm. you guys put the gotcha on the line, and now gotchas he are kick my ass, dude. Yeah, you walloped me, my knees out, and everything. And gotchas are now done. There's yeah. no more gotchas on hits. Mm. It's dude. Okay, mm-hmm. I was just I was uh, I was. <laughs> I was talking. I, like uncomfortable. I, I I I talked to um I talked to Jason about this. I also right. talked to Ryan Ryan yeah. Majurai who mm. used to be in Hits, and I told Ryan and mm. I told Jason. Jason did not understand where I. Th- I don't think he understands. I told him, dude, this is a very big deal for me. Yeah. Mm. You know, and me and Ryan were talking about it. Because you did a lot, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did almost about I mean, two thousand gotchas. You know. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> and and and. <laughs> Why is Arda feeling so uncomfortable? No, 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 uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, carry on. Carry why, on. why? Okay, like, why? Did, like, how does it feel now that the Gotchas is out, dude? After how many years? 20 over years. As a representative of Arnold and my organization, we are not allowed to comment on this as of yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just going to say that um, after a week of not playing Gotchas, I actually kind of miss them. I miss it, dude. And yeah. I actually do them now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't. He doesn't skive anymore. Doesn't. So this is how it is, right? So I'm supposed to be the translator. Being the guy who used to do two freaking thousand gotchas. <laughs> no, you. Uh, Jin would like do do two, yeah, yeah. and then do another two, and then do another. And then Friday, yeah. I do one, but I make sure it's really good. Yeah, like the one that people remember. Ian is an idiot, you know. He's like. You know, it's like I'll be like, I yeah, like I'll always do two, 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 yeah. And then I was like, Ian, what are you not doing? You try, you wait, you wait. When I do one, it's gonna be a kick ass gotcha. And oh yeah, yeah. And he always does a kick ass gotcha. And then idiot. everyone will talk about it. You know what I mean? For me, he always makes an appointment. You know, he says, um, yeah, uh, Wednesday lah. Wednesday, I, pro- I promise you, I'll do it. And Wednesday comes around. Hey, tomorrow lah. I think tomorrow. Hey, don't nowadays. <laughs> oh my god, it. that sounds so familiar. <laughs> nowadays I keep it. Hey, come on. Okay, nowadays yes, yes nowadays. I hope your bosses don't listen to this podcast. Uh, well, you know we hope. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. Like, what happened? Okay, so to to bring everybody to speed, mm. so there was this little Bra- Brazilian jiu jitsu. I don't think we can comment on this yet, to be honest, like, bro. Oh it's really? Dangerous, yeah. Not yet because mm. we'll tell you later. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I mean, like, what what's out there already is you yeah, guys yeah. had a, like a little competition, yeah, right? Yeah. And the wager was to actually, if if you won, if you beat Jason Leon, what 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 would happen? Nothing. 
Nothing. The, the gotcha the stay. stay. The gotcha stay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, the, why this happened was because in before the MCO, Jason Leon put out a video. Like oh, a yeah, I remember video. that, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, if I ran for Prime Minister, blah, 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 I would, you know, uh, get rid of prank calls yeah. on radio stations because that's what the rock yet wants. Right. So, you know, we brought him in and you challenged him. I mean, you him. know the business side of it. Like. Yeah. I, I, you know, yeah. the, the, okay, we see an opportunity. Yeah. yeah. We jump for it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, a lot of people are talking about it now. Yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's how we get but it. But I think like a lot of people don't understand, like, you see, uh, a lot of people tend to always see one end of the spectrum. Yeah, they see one person tweeting about. Okay, I'll, like for me, I'll say it. I mm. mean, you guys can't say it because you guys are still working for the station. Mm. You see a tweet, and the tweet says like, "Oh my god, they're still doing gotchas. It's mm. so old." And yeah, this yeah. person is probably like thirty. No, I, probably I, thirty plus. I mean, no disrespect true. to the person. It doesn't no, mean you're old. Yeah, you yeah. know, and you are. You're probably out of that curve yeah. that listens to gotcha yeah that's why i always say it's a demographics thing right i yeah. think um you know the for the people who complain and the people who hate it i get it but it's not aimed it's not it's not, not for you it's not for you it's yeah. not for you it's like the kids actually have come up to me since you know what i mean like I yeah a bunch of kids but they said what happened you yeah know what I mean? we just started listening to it mm. so imagine that they missed out i mean you hold it close to your heart because you had to do like do th- yeah thousands of it. <laughs> you did so many, I and Ian always ninjas it to me. <laughs> but like you know, after a while, like it's so funny. It's so funny that yeah. And I'm okay. So before I get to what I'm about to say, it's a demographic thing yeah. because like the adults will be like, oh, this is old. Yeah. They'd be like, you know why? Because they old. because they have they have listened to it. Enough. Yeah. yeah. It's like, to be honest, your taste in music will change as you grow up. Yeah. Right? right. You love Linkin Park then. Now you're like Sarah McLaughlin yeah. or, or whatever. Is that what you're listening to now? No, How no, the no. mighty <laughs> have fallen? No, 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 no. You no, always no. had good taste in music. I can hey. always ask you what's good. <laughs> but now it's Sarah McLaughlin, is it? No, no, it's not. Uh, then, then the thing is, the funny thing is, the kids actually still love gotchas. Yeah. yeah. The kids. Because they just come. got a hold of it. Yeah. Like for me, when I was doing gotchas, right, my mm. friends would tell me, hey, you're still doing the gotchas. Uh. Mm. And then when we go out to do our school visits, right, and they will come up to say, hey, I like the one that you did, you know, the exactly. one in the school. Remember, yeah. They yeah. still, they will, they will come to you and tell you and they will, they will repaint the entire gotcha. Yeah. And you'll be like, oh, I did that one. Uh. You actually like that? You Correct. know what I mean? Which is so true. They, yeah. They pinpoint it and that's what gets yeah. you, right? Yeah. It's like, Holy shit. Like, so that's as when you jump in as me and say, no, sorry, kid, that was one of my <laughs> yeah. So as much as like, as much as like, you know, uh, me leaving the station, I would love to like diss the gotcha. Like, yeah, I'm so glad you guys have mm. it. But you know, there is an aspect of it where you need to understand it's a demographic kind of thing. Yeah. Hits yeah. FM does not lie. They come out and say that hey, our station is the number one station, and our demographics are from 12 year olds to 25 year old. Yeah. And we are. And wow, we, you still remember yeah. everything? Of course. That's how that's that's how sales pitch. It's like whatever yeah, we'll yeah. do. Like even in our in our meetings, like remember, remember your demographics, yeah, okay? Yeah. Don't come in here and talk of some documentary shit, some you know whatever not that yeah. kids do not like. Yeah. I remember that we had to do things that we thought like, what the, are you kidding me? This is like so like high school. Do you yeah, want us yeah. to do this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when we did it, that. and when we did it, it blew up. And yeah. be like, oh, it works. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. And be like, oh, okay. You see, even even me, uh, when working for Hit as an employee, Hits, I was even questioning the bosses at one point of time. You mm. know, no, because some of the stuff seemed like we were doing it so out of fashion. You yeah, know what I mean? we were thinking like, oh, this is this is so yeah. cringe. This is yeah. so cringe. Yeah. Yeah. But when we did it, it's like, oh, they loved it. They loved it. Except for the f- okay, there was only one thing that they didn't believe in. <laughs> they didn't believe in YouTube. I, I still yeah, remember, I remember that. I remember they, that. They, they kept they kept telling me. Yeah, early days. Yeah, the kids. They said, "Jin, mm. focus on your product." Your but product. you kind of did that back to everybody when when you when it blew up. Yeah. I mean, when 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 it blew up, like uh, they said. I remember this. They said, "Focus on your product. Your product is selling music." And I'm like, "Okay." Mm. And and yeah. and yeah. And then that, that, that that's the only thing that. I thought it was gonna be because I think they didn't understand because Malaysia didn't really have like a YouTube yeah. surge at that yeah. point in time. And then you yeah. made it, bruh. Oh, you fucking did it. I, I don't know, man. Then yeah, so will the gotchas come back? I don't know. Well, okay, so Arnold, what are we having for lunch tomorrow? Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna have some dal. <laughs> that, that's why yeah. people think you're Indian because the first thing you go for some dal and dosa. <laughs> I just really feel like some dal and vegetarian rice. Yeah, yeah. so that's your answer. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow. There wow. you go. They um, used to like, dude. There used to be these classics where are like until today iconic. Remember, yes, no, mm, ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think some people listening. I, I'm not sure that the demographics are listening to my my, my podcast. My mm-hmm. podcast is like, yeah, you have the young ones, but you have the slightly older ones listening yeah, to this yeah, stuff. So they, sure, we yeah. used to do yes, no, mm, uh, ah. Yeah. We used to do what are the games that was like iconic? The one that we did at night. Do you remember like a up two? Like that came. Yes, back. Yeah, that came back. Yeah, oh yeah. wow, That's something I did for my night show. And right, Jin, Jin right. used to video this. Yeah. Um, remember we tried to make stupid videos at Nat's house? Yeah, we used to. We tried to blow up that Mentos. Mentos yes. yes. <laughs> 
story. Tell that story. Tell that story. We, <laughs> we went on YouTube and we saw these white fellas uh, putting mentos into the coke, you know, and yeah. then it freaking boom, fountain, fountain of glory. And both yeah. of us like, oh my God, this is so funny. This is so funny. We should do it. We yeah. should do it. So yeah. we freaking scurry along, went to 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> bought as much Mentos as we could. And the big bottles. Yeah. And then we bought Diet Coke because you must buy Diet Coke. It only yeah. works with Diet oh, Coke. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, only Diet Coke. Huh? Yeah, la. yeah. Went outside Ned's house. We bought cellophane tape. We forgot cellophane tape. So we went out. We bought cellophane tape. <laughs> line out the damn Mentos. Yeah. yeah. On the line. And we followed like freaking frame by frame from yeah. the YouTube video. And we said, like, okay, all you need to do is drop yeah. it in. And it will, boom. It will physically shoot like 10 feet up. So Ian is like, oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Right? We freaking dropped it. Fuck happened. <laughs> Nothing, <laughs> dude. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. You know what it was? It turns out that it's missing a chemical called glycerine, which yes. has a pork by- byproduct in it. Right. So without that, yeah. you can't you don't get that explosion. So I basically see. So the mentos here, the halal mentos, the yeah. Oh what? Oh, so yeah. the mentos doesn't have that. No. Our, our mentos doesn't have yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. So the good on, on the good side is oh mentos is halal. <laughs> in Malaysia. <laughs> The best side is you made us waste 50 ringgit yeah. Yeah. which back then it's got a lot of money. Which was a lot of money. Okay. You were poor as, you know. 50 you damn ringgit to try to do an experiment yeah. to freaking tickle our own fancies that didn't happen. <laughs> Nothing. Oh we were watching it and the gym's like, wait, wait, wait. Give it time. <laughs> Give it time. Watch it, watch it. Yes. It will happen. It will happen. Nothing. We waited there for six minutes and Nat ended up licking the ground and we made a video out of that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. And then we just went back to Nat's house and sat down and said, like, hey, what did we do with our lives? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. shit, I just spat all over you. Oh, okay. But we used to hang out there a lot. Remember there was like, the three of us were like a, a gang, man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was It was crazy. Back then you all had a lot of time, huh? I mean, I mean, how come you're not so free these days, bro? Huh? <laughs> 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 back, back then, so, Jin, what are you having for lunch? Uh, <laughs> let's see, some dal. <laughs> back then, what? You saying? No, back then, back then, yeah, because we were not doing the morning show. Uh, we were doing the night okay. show. Yeah, yeah. We just go in four hours a day. Yeah. And then after that, we we're like, uh, we roll up to our show. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, there's not. And the thing is, we used to. I think like we used to work in a time slot where we had enough time to really hang out at night. Yeah. Ian was, wait, wait were you doing the, the drive show? I was doing drive, dude. So yeah, I was on- Nat was doing the- She was on 10 to 1. You 10 to night. 1. I, oh yeah, yeah I was on night. Just before I went to breakfast. Mm-hmm. You, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. We needed someone like accomplished to take over nights because night show became the big deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so Jin took it over and I remember he was killing that and then Ryan joined it. That's yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. That's when mm-hmm. it blew up, right? Yeah. yeah. And then um, then I think when Ian joined the morning crew and then uh, that's it, we said bye-bye to Ian. He disappeared. <laughs> it's like Ian yeah. became grumpy Ian. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I know that Ian. But, but <laughs> not anymore, right? Now it's a new Ian rebranded. I'm happy all the time. Oh, uh, really? Uh, okay, I would love to see the behind the scenes of what happens in the microphones every day. Shut up, don't touch me. <laughs> no, I'm not like that anymore. Can you help me, you bastard. Do that. Well, you know, he has his moments, la. let's be honest. Again. When have I had a moment? It's you that has his moment. Not the grumpy flow, it's him. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, don't talk to me. I don't want, what is it now? He'll say to our producer. Hey, but every day, you know, we wake up so early, right? You have your moods. Let's be honest, right? Yeah. It's hard. You, you, you know yeah, this, Yeah, it is hard. Because well, what time do you wake up now? Uh, <laughs> I wake up whenever I want to wake up because I'm the boss but no <laughs> la, I, I, I I have to wake up at 10 no choice yeah. oh poor yeah. baby I ha- so you right at the end of our show you wake up huh? no, no it's like um, I need to wake up at 10 uh, yeah. because you know my daughter wakes up yeah. and I need to make sure that you know we have to number one give her milk number two bathe her number two uh, number three get her ready for lunch yeah, yeah. and then after that uh, I need to you know basically get in touch with my team and see what's going on and stuff like that so you know I, I run a company now so it's a little bit different uh, it's it's uh, given the situations right now that we're going through. It's more of survival mode. So you know you don't take everything for granted. Whatever yeah, opportunities yeah, you have, yeah. you take. Sure. Sure. So um, <clears throat> it's uh, I wake up at ten now, and uh, yeah, once in a while, hey, every time I every time I wake up earlier than ten. If it's between a six hour, six o'clock window, I'll text you guys. Okay, hey, I'm listening to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll have you in the car. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the yeah. car, and then I get a reply from Ian like seven months later. <laughs> He'd be like, oh, fuck, I didn't see this shit, Lamacha, how are you? <laughs> hey, come on, I'm replying on time now, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I just yeah. want to reveal one of Ian's secrets is that he puts a lot of people on D&D mode. Oh, really? Mm. So, but 
I'm lucky lah because I'm not on D and D mode. Well, technically anymore. I, I, I have to be lah because I'm his colleague, right? You know? Yeah, <laughs> you're not just my colleague. You're my friend. No, you're my brother. <laughs> okay, all right. And uh, I think at one point in time, me and Ian used to go on this whole spiel and buying G Shock watches. Oh yeah, remember? I remember. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I was like, I was like telling Ian like, oh, last time I could afford G Shock watches. Now I can Love buy. It. So I went out and I freaking like went on a freaking spiel of G Shock watches. You bought a whole fucking bunch. Didn't you? <laughs> then we went yeah. to that event. We went. Didn't we meet the? No, I went there with me and. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Mayan. Oh, of course, no, no, yeah. Anyway. He would choose to go with Mayan rather than me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Water. Uh, <laughs> what I'm oh drinking right now. She's just a colleague of ours. Yeah, she's yeah no one important. Yeah. Good <laughs> <laughs> then, like, uh, I remember, yeah, so Ian bought me a watch too. I still have that watch. Yeah. 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 Oh, and yeah, yeah. yeah then like I sent him a, then, then I sent him a text like, uh, one day I took a picture of it hey see I'm still wearing a watch then he got all emotional uh. yeah being all you know oh my god I'm so emotional I said like, yeah you bloody fake bastard you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's gonna text me after this uh, hey where's my watch oh. <laughs> setting the standards there huh yeah bro okay now, now that I know yeah <laughs> okay. but it's, it's actually to be honest pretty crazy because like uh, actually to be honest after this I'm gonna bring more hits um uh, like announces on the show because mm. Ryan Majerai, I was, I was shooting at him the other day. Yeah, yeah. He gave me this idea. He's like, hey, you know what? We should bring out all the voices that were familiar once to Malaysians yeah. on your show. Yeah, yeah man, you should. Yeah. You should get talk. everyone together. Yeah, mm. and and that, that 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 like for me that sparked an idea, and, and it just made me realize like, damn it, at one point in time, or right now, you guys, mm. like now, you guys are that familiar voice that mm. everybody listens to uh, when they go to school and work. How crazy is that? For Ian's 20 years, lah, but you know. 15 years. <laughs> 15. <laughs> Isn't that crazy that like for us in our job scope, when we go out, the minute we open our mouths and, yeah. and, and people recognize our voices, they mm. really treat us like friends. They don't even, there is no barrier yeah, between no barrier. us. Yeah. But do you see the difference between being someone in movies, being someone in radio is there's no inhibitions. When you see it like a like a celebrity from a movie, you get a bit nervous. Yeah. Right? For them, they feel like you've had that interaction. Correct. Exactly. So they will always come up and say, hey, buddy, you mm. know, thank, thanks so much. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, they expect you to know them when in actual fact it's a one-way conversation. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. and there's a lot of times that people don't realize this. Mm. I'm sure you and Ian, not on the morning cruise show or even in the morning cruise show or yeah. your individual slots, have gotten depressed people who call in. Yeah, mm. and talk to you. And we like need to basically talk to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The night slot used to get a lot, dude. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And for us, it's, it actually it was something new because these people keep calling and they want to talk to you and you realize, like, oh, they just want to talk. Yeah. Because you don't realize how much impact. At first, you'd be like, you know, oh, these fellas are... These fellas are just—they're they, just kids, you know. They just want to call, they want to talk to you because you know it's fun mm. to be able to talk to a radio DJ, right? Mm. Uh, in a kid's mind. But then you, I think, like you know, then for the years down the road, you get a message coming in like, "I was going through a very depressive state, mm. and I'm so happy that you actually entertained my every call." It. Yeah. Uh, at that one point in time, and I'm like, "Whoa, it's such a powerful yeah. medium that people tend to forget about." For sure. Yeah. If yeah. if you you're relatable, like you became relatable, that's why someone reached out to you. They wouldn't mm. have done it. Did you do nights at any point? Uh, yeah, with you. Remember? Oh, you, you mean oh, yeah. you, did you conveniently forget those <laughs> <laughs> those six months? Or were they in the, that six months of your memory that you lost? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look, I may, I just asked whether you did this a simple question. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, yes, s- I did. I you did. know what? Fuck it. I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> oh, you conveniently It's been a forgot. long career, okay, dude? <laughs> yeah, but okay, like, uh, what are the, okay, what are the biggest highlights for, for in terms of career-wise, though? I mean, like, for you, like, like something that you always like okay when you leave radio one mm. day when you retire you will take away and like yeah this is what I'm taking away I, I honestly think that um, radio for, for myself anyway like, right I, I used to be a very shy person actually I wouldn't say I was not like you you were, you were definitely an extrovert right yeah. mm-hmm. public speaking and all that was really not my thing I would get very jittery I still do when I go before I go and MC an event I get sweaty palms I, I think we all do super nervous yeah. right yeah. so I think radio has really taught me how to come out of my shell a little bit more in, in, in that sense that training right it trains you to um, or it forces you to, to get out there and and, you know, be uh, not say a different person, but be a more confident person. So I think that's really my takeaway. I'm really glad, like, uh, I got, I got that from this job, like, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to be in the same school as Arnold. Yeah. Because I, I used to be friends with his cousin, yeah, Edric. <clears throat> 
elder cousin. So he'll be like, you know, typical lah, when you have an elder cousin or an elder relative or an elder brother uh, in school, yeah. he will go around and say, ah, this is my cousin. Ah, and all, and he'll start <laughs> pulling him, uh, ruffling his hair, yeah. pull his pants down and, and stuff like that. So Arnold has always gotten that in school. Oh, wow. yeah. He's mm-hmm. always being, I won't say bullied, but you know, like the friendly bully kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, like people, it's like, ah, Arnold, he's always is the young. Is there a friendly bully though? Uh, <laughs> I mean, we didn't. Oh, uh, if there is, it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <He's> <laughs> and 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 oh I remember when he first uh, ventured off into radio yeah. on another station. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, Arnold's, uh, yeah, you yeah. know, uh, going onto that. It's so yeah. funny. And then after that, he came to, to hits, and it's like, dang, yeah, dude, man. it's such a small world. Yeah. Very small world, yeah. Crazy. And before that, he was a film producer. Was he a film producer? What I was mean, he? I was, I was producing in TV. In TV. Yeah, producing yeah. in TV. You were mm. doing Quiggy, right? Yeah. 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 yeah and then, right. you know, next thing you know, he's now on the, you know, number one English station in the whole country. Not just that, holding up the ship, dude. You and, know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Talita came to me and uh, asked me for Genie Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you asked him with the highlight of his career, right? Yeah. Now, the real truth is all the girls I met long. Oh. <laughs> How you can pull that card? You don't know me. I'm Arnold fucking low. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for the record, I never ever say that. Okay? Have you ever pulled the Come card? On. Come on. Have you ever pulled the card? Be know? real. You don't know who I am. Have you ever gone to like one event and you're like, uh, and you realize that you could get something, and then you be like, oh hi, I'm Arnold from Hits out of him. No, okay, I've I've never said that to get something or yep. to get my way or to get into somewhere. Um, and you've been missing out, dog. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I've used it, you know, and talking to girls at some point. What you did know? you say? I mean, it's all, be like, oh, do you listen to the radio? Then what know, happens when she says no? Then, oh, I'll be like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> here's an Instagram picture <laughs> <laughs> of my radio site. So, uh, you see that billboard? No, Jay, we got billboard nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we used to be on billboard. That's, that's another thing, being you, on billboard. Yeah, you guys used to be on billboards. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Ian, what was your biggest takeaway? Oh, wait, what is yours? I'm still there, dude. I mean, the, the seeing the different generations pass by, you know, and trying to fit in. Yeah. Like, I've, I have to still kind of be a kid, but it's I feel it's less hard now than it was back then. Oh, really? 100%. I feel like... Now you're allowed to be you. Oh, really? Yeah, now you're allowed to be you more. Why was it harder back then? What, what were you we just had a lot more... I mean, you came in during that, the cusp of that, yeah. you know, where things were very critical and you realize you, you stress someone out. Mm. You kind of just intrinsically have to be you in mm. order to make the job easier. Like, mm. Kind of like what, what happens when you broke away from his. You just became yourself. Yeah. Like now you did the last video, you, your mom in the fridge. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Because it's so true. Mom's like, don't, don't touch the fish. Why you want to go out when you got food at home? Yeah, yeah. It's so yeah. true. Yeah. yeah, I know hasn't seen it yet. That's why um, I'm laughing like that. It's just like, it's... <laughs> yeah, I guess what, what you could say is like, it's just like yeah. WWE. At one point, it used to be very Attitude Era. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yes. Mm. Wow, that's... Finally, yeah. someone sees that way, yeah. It, it used to be Attitude Era. Then after that, when, you know, management changes, yeah. it, there used to be something different. So I guess... Right. Different... Uh, Trends, I guess. Yeah, yeah different yeah, trends. I guess you know, different people have different things, different yeah. trends, different way of managing things. So I yeah. guess, like you know, I mean, I've been I've been catching up like once in a while. And Ian, he says that things are, are you know, it's more fun and he hits, it's yeah, more it open. Is. It is. It yeah. Is. I mean, just a, a different management brings different culture, right? So yeah, it's just what you're comfortable with, I guess, at the end of the day, right? Um, but I yeah, think it's been yeah, good. I think it's just been a lot more relaxed. But it's been good, dude. And what I want to say from that is, I remember every different generation having a highlight with us. It was like, you know, that was who I grew up with. Yeah. This mm-hmm. one, it's like more who you're, I'm kind of not, not taking a step back, you know, out of it, but just, just watching everyone evolve. And it's kind of, kind of good, like being the guy that's been around for so long and you have to evolve too. I don't have a fucking point, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. I was, waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting. I was like, hey, damn it, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. I'm, I'm still there. So I, I kind of haven't taken anything away. You know? But isn't it crazy? Sometimes I think about it, right? You think about yourself and your age and like our youngest announcer right now. The gap is so wide. You, you know? think even, that's stressful for you, though? No, even you myself, know? right? Yeah. Who's like, the youngest now? Keanu. How old is he? Keanu. He's, he's he could what? be my kid, you know, dude. 21. Like, he may not know it yet. 21 or 22? And I met his mom. His mom's not, not much older than me. And I called her auntie, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we nearly the same age. Yeah. Ian, stop lying to yourself, okay? You're an uncle or so. <laughs> auntie, huh? I bet you purposely said that just to make yourself feel young. Yeah, yeah I'm from Hits. <laughs> if that doesn't work, like, I work for Hits, okay? 18, 25 is my demographic. I'm young, okay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty crazy. Um, But yeah, you know, but it is what it is. And yeah. I'm glad that, uh, you know, we're still there, you know, yeah. even though, yeah. What, wait, sorry, so you've got both of you and you've got Callista and you've got Keanu, who else do you guys have? Zer. Remember Zer? Yeah, yeah I Don't remember Zer. 
<laughs> do you? <laughs> of do course you? I remember the. <laughs> of course I remember the. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But yeah. hey, I hey. like <laughs> hey. The other day I saw someone familiar in your studios. I saw Hafiz from uh, X yeah. X Fly FM announcer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. So Ian injured his knee, so he didn't come in for a week. So, mm. uh, I but I, I told them about it this time. I didn't just leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Ian injures himself all the time, lah. Huh? <laughs> so knee, head, <laughs> brain. <laughs> What else? I don't uh, know. Oh, he came in for a backup, lah. Is it? Yeah, he yeah. came for a backup. Yeah. So I I texted him and uh, I said, "Hey, don't, if you're not doing anything right now, come and join me, lah. I mean, I need a partner." Yeah. So he uh, gladly obliged. He said, "If Ian doesn't mind, then why not?" Yeah. No, yeah. How can this guy not be in radio right now? I don't like, know, man. I don't yeah. understand. To me, I don't understand. Half is good, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I think maybe give it some time. Then, yeah. You know, yeah. Never know. Well, right? what, Hello, be- everybody. This is Half is Ian and Arnold on hits. Hey, <laughs> uh, hey, man! You know who knows? If it's anything, yeah. you heard it here first. Okay, <laughs> yeah. but it's, it's very common. Well, last time, like if someone were to leave from fly, they either go to hits or light or mix. Yeah, yeah. So yeah it's just him a matter of time, like you said. I yeah, hope so. I hope it's, someone nabs him. He's, yeah. he's really good. It's a common thing in this industry yeah. because, okay, as much as a lot of people would think that the radio industry is huge, huge it's actually very small. It Particularly is. like English, you only have a few stations. You have, well, Red FM is no longer there. So mm. uh, you have hits, you have mix, you have light. That's it, right? That's it. Super small. Super small. I mean, yeah. for English, that's it. Yeah. And it's really run by Arnold at the end of the day. Because when you think, if he says, no, no, don't, don't, don't call the Fleur, that Fleur <laughs> won't get called, dude. If he doesn't like someone, he will not call them. No. Hey, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that guy's a bit, a bit hard to work with. Like. Oh. <laughs> wow. Not true at all, guys. Okay. <laughs> wow. Hey, wait, who, wait, so so who's who's the program manager, uh, the, the, the boss of, I mean, like now? Uh, Priya is our our boss right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I remember Priya. Priya, Priya, yeah, Priya yeah, reached know. out. Priya yeah, reached yeah, yeah, yeah. out to, to Michelle. Uh, yeah. I think she wanted to have. She um, doesn't like being mentioned ever. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't like being a, a name. I mean, you can, but you know. Yeah, I think she used. Uh, she she reached out. I think she wanted some of our te- our our team our our talents to be uh, background crew. Mm. Uh, sorry, not background crew. Plus it's a backup crew when I, you guys go in on leave or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, back, back, uh, backup crew is when like the morning crew goes on leave. Then you have like guests come in to basically right. run the show for a week. Yeah. I remember they called me. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, okay, I would want to go there again, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's so ac- tough. Actually, to be honest, I wouldn't mind, but because I have to do that and then run the company, right? Yeah, it'd be yeah. very, very tiring. And, and I for me, you, it's like, you don't have to do anything. You're the boss. Hey, please lah. <laughs> That's the nice side of it, lah. Okay, the horrible side of it is like, to, me, to be honest, like sitting uh, on your desk until like three, four a.m. in the morning trying yeah. to think of what step to take next. Yeah. Isn't that revisiting the past? It yeah. is. Yeah. It is. And yeah. then, and for me, it's like you know, because like uh, it's not just one person you're taking care. Of. You're not. You're not. You're not taking care of a company. Mm. I'm taking care of like 13 people. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And yeah. I need yeah. to understand, that. you know, each and every individual's wants and needs. So, yeah. and if one person is unhappy, I, I, I basically am stuck. And you can't think that everybody's the same. So, some like for me, I think that way today. So that's why, for me to really. Uh, put that aside and be missing for a week it's tough so yeah. but do the interns get that much love too uh, no nah, not really <laughs> they're just here to like you know I tried buddy I tried yeah. <laughs> make the cut co- no, like, have, have you done an episode with just your interns no I haven't actually I should yeah yeah, you I should, should bring back all my ex-inters and ask them how they loved working right. here. You know, as soon as you leave, he's going to say, hey, fuck you, don't get ideas. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like right now we are hiring, no, 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 we're not hiring. Yeah, we are hiring new interns. You should do the show, but you should have someone else ask them the questions. Oh, really? Not you, because they'd be so intimidated, right? Oh, yeah, they would. Yeah, so maybe like- I would love to just interview interns on, on, on this show just for fun, just mm. to see how they respond. Yeah. 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 You go, There's another idea. Well done. I know. Do you want to copyright that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well yeah. In with the interns. You know what you call it? Hey, but do you guys keep in touch with any of our ex uh, radio announcers or whatever not? And how? See Rudy every. Rudy. Day. How's Rudy? I mean, what's Rudy doing? He's um he's a house owner. Right oh now. wow. He's mm. he's doing home economics. Oh wow. He's at home right now, but he's coming out with a podcast too. Nice. Uh, that's going to be on soon. I'll, I'll plug it with you. When yeah. Because Rudy, I mean, he's a good friend. He's one of my best friends, so I keep in touch with him all the time. Dude, man, these people Nat are- too? Yeah. Nat is yeah. doing a, a, her speaking course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's doing, very, she's, it's doing well. She's like, you know, giving all these like, uh, it's, it's, it's like yeah. um, motivational speaking courses to help people yeah, come yeah, out of their yeah, shells. Yeah. She's yeah. coaching for like public speaking and stuff. It's really cool. Uh, yeah. Like she's, yeah. And coaching is, it, it, it's a profession, yeah, because I think you, uh, you, I just, just the other day I, I 
I uh, spoke to someone and they were telling me that you need to get a cert a certificate to, in order to coach. Absolutely, mm. coaches get paid really well, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And then it's something with tax. If tax, uh, you can deduct your tax, whatever. Well, I'm not two, very two of clear. you were, were sort of coached by me in a way. Would you recommend that I do that? I mean, immediately. I mean, you know. Sorry, I mean, we like to reword that. Both of, both of us survived you. <laughs> <laughs> that is and true. That made you stronger, didn't it? Yeah, of course, of yeah. course. Yeah, of course. We had to survive. What do you think? We're gonna give up? We see you, bastard. <laughs> yeah, correct. It's a job, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's a job. <laughs> We, uh, you know, <laughs> surviving you was the was the training. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly, exactly. That, that's what you imagine what Rudy put me through. I don't know. Yeah, it was worse than that. But, but anyway, you didn't need yeah. to pass it down. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> nobody said it was a rule. Right? Yeah, but yeah, I, I see Ryan every now and then. I think yeah. that's one of the besides the actually uh, only Ryan really. I yeah, only see yeah. Ryan really. Yeah. yeah. Um. Other than yeah, and you every now and then lah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, it'd be so cool. I mean, it'd be so cool to see all of the to to just get everybody familiar voices one day to just come Are on. Are you gonna do that? I mean, yeah, I, I think I want to. I want. I want to do it and. Uh, but you see, uh, this this studio can only accommodate so much, like yeah, you know? yeah, mics as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm not Astro, you know. I'm oh. a you know. <laughs> oh, actually, I am in a group chat with Adam C, Ryan, and Shay. Remember Shay? From, yes. Yeah, yeah. So three, four of us are in this group chat called Gossip Pondans. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's, wow, that's, yeah, that's yeah. completely PC. I you know. know. So oh, the, the the stuff that we talk about in there, and like the the images that we share, I will not talk about on this. Yeah, we we should we should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's crazy. But you know what, guys? I I, I just want to say like thank you so much for uh, coming on the show. Thank oh, this you is for uh, Oscar us. music. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, thanks. That was actually a lot longer. I noticed Arnold looked at his watch only twice. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I, just, I'm just, I was just curious to see uh, how, what time it was. Yeah, thanks, Jin. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. It's, it's really good catching up with you. Yeah, it's just, like, to be honest, like, you will never hear radio announcers talk more than one minute and 30 seconds <laughs> on radio. Today, we've talked for one hour and 30 minutes. Wow. 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 That's, wow. A, that's crazy. So it's like, that's just the other, this is just the other side of us that people don't know. Mamak sessions, baby. Yeah. So Thank I mean, much. like, uh, hey, thanks. Uh, it's really good because you know I've never seen. I've not. Seen, I mean, the last time I saw you was in that uh, Bukit Jalil event. Yeah. Mm. But prior to that was four years ago, when he said yes, I'll come to your wedding. Then he never came to my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. You were good. <laughs> Yes, Jin, I'll come to your wedding, no problem. Well, you mean at this point, you still bother asking? Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, all the accounts that happened in this past podcast were not absolutely true. <laughs> 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 all right, guys, thank you so much. Thanks, uh, Ian, Arno, listen bro. to the hits. The God, well, it's not Dot FM. For yeah. me, it's Dot. Hits FM Morning Crew, weekdays, 6 to 10. <laughs> <laughs> he used to, he used to, you know what Jin used to do last thing? <laughs> he used to always go around going, Morning crew hits morning crew. Malaysia's number one hit station. Now, like, what are you doing? Just, I'm trying to be the voice for your promo. By the way, no more FM, huh? No, no more FM, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. You, Weekdays, buddy. 6 to 10 a.m., only on 92.9. Thank you very much, guys. Thank we'll you. speak to you next time. <laughs>